What's up, Brew Crew? I'm the Brew Captain. I do challenges, how to's, and reviews. And today, we're going to be opening my first beer drop. Let's get this started. I started something a little bit different. Instead of going to the local store and getting all sorts of kind of beers to try from and figure it out, I decided to invest in a beer box mail program. Put my information in, I showed the UPS driver my ID when I showed up, and they arrived with 10 new beers. So I'm pretty excited about this. This is the first uh, beer box I've ever gotten as far as a subscription. Inside this box right here, there's 10 beers. There's five different kinds, so two of each. So let's take a look and see what we got. All right, we're gonna open this baby up. It's got that strong tape on it. I guess that's good considering that there's a uh, beer inside. It's kind of a shallow box. I was expecting something bigger, so I don't want to cut anything because that would suck. All right, we got a little thing here. All right, custom beer drop for the brew captain. So it's a list of the beer that's going to be inside of this beer drop. We have, uh, it's called Pass of Victory. It's a coconut vanilla whiskey porter, uh, Oak Tooth, Right Hand Man, Gold Rush, Belgian, and Eastern Star. So let me go ahead and take this off and uh, we'll see what we're looking at. All right, uh, that's kind of cool. So just to kind of show you what we're looking at. Check that out right there. All right, so the first one, I already know it's a Colorado beer. That's where I'm from. Uh, it's Colorado Can Series Limited Edition. It says all types of beer for all types of people. Uh, this is brewed and canned by High Hops Brewery out of Windsor, Colorado. So take a look at that bad boy right there. That's kind of a cool can. Got the Colorado flag right there. So this one right here, this is, uh, let's see. This is Paths of Victory, did I say? Oh, no, it's Eastern Star. It says it right there at the top, Eastern Star. All right, so Eastern Star, this is a little bit faded. Uh, it's an IPA with Mosaic, Citra, and Amarillo, 7% ABV. Copious amounts of citrus and fruit-forward hops, including Mosaic, Citra, and Amarillo, were added only during the Whirlpool and dry hop stages of the brew to make it juicy and aromatic experience like no other. This is going to be a good one. That's kind of cool. I like that can. I really like the cans that have the the art on them. It just makes it it makes it fun. It's kind of like you know opening a, a gift that that just has a lot of ribbon and decorations and things like that. So cool. Eastern Star got that right there. All right, next one we have Bruce Bruce Bruce. It's a crafted locally Belgian influenced right hand man Pilsner. So I know they have left hand company. This is right hand man. Kind of an interesting can. It's almost a uh, steam steampunkish, like 1800 style, like an old film. It looks like 100% um, malt, noble hops, clean Jaeger Lee, clean. Ye That's hard to say. Clean lager yeast, and it actually tells you it's best served uh, 45 degrees Fahrenheit, delivering badassery to your glass. So this guy right here, let's see exactly what it is. Right Hand Man Pilsner, German Pilsner, 5.2 ABV. Right Hand Man is a premium Pilsner style, style beer made with 100% malt, noble hops, and clean lager yeast. I got it right that time. Uh, it is malty and refined with highly hoppy aroma and a clean, crisp lager finish. A classic. I hope so, because that, that can is very, very classic. I like that. That's cool. So just looking at them, this is my favorite can. Uh, this is called P Paths of Victory. It's a robust porter with coconut, vanilla bean, and whiskey-soaked oak. I always like any kind of whiskey or bourbon barrel. Um, I don't know if that's exactly what this is, but I would assume so. Uh, maybe some kind of wood to it. It does have a warning on here that women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy uh, because of risk of 
birth defects. Uh, however, it does not say anything about men not drinking pregnancy. So remember that, brothers. You are perfectly okay and safe, relatively speaking, to drink during pregnancy. All right, so this one is from Mockery Brewing, uh, which is uh, Denver, I believe. Yeah, it's out of Denver. So another home state beer. Uh, let's take a look at it. So we got the Pass of Victory. It's a coconut, vanilla, and whiskey porter. This is going to be a good one. Uh, I really do like porters. It's 6% ABV. It says robust porter with hundreds of pounds of toasted coconut, pounds of whole Tahitian vanilla beans. The porter rested on whiskey-soaked French oak to give lots of depth and complexity to this rich treat. So that's interesting. It says it's rested on whiskey-soaked French oak. I'm not sure what that means. Uh, I'll have to kind of look into it. But this can, uh, really, really cool can. So I'm going to kind of turn it because you got to see the whole thing. So starting here, we got this skull. It moves around to a skeleton, which then keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And it almost looks like the Emerald City from Wizard of Oz, but like after an apocalypse. Uh, then with like a kraken type creature with a skull. So kind of cool. I'm really, really digging that can. And I'm really excited to drink it too. All right, so then, uh, okay, cool. So these are, are these all from Colorado? So this one was from where? What is this guy from? Yeah, this is from Denver. All right, cool. So these are these are obviously all Colorado beers which I'm cool with. I'm originally from Colorado Springs. So this is Pikes Peak Brewing. I've had a couple of the Pikes Peak Brewing. I've had the Elephant. Um, there's a couple other ones I've had. This is the Gold. I haven't had the Gold yet. So it's Pikes Peak Brewing Company. It's a Gold. It's called Gold. Uh, it's a Belgian style golden ale. You know, Pikes Peak Brewing Company has, has a really definitive look to all of their cans. So they have their own branding going on. And I've had the Elephant... I've had a couple other ones. I can't remember all the names of them, but this one, you know, kind of basic on there. It's got gold written on it. This one, 8.7% alcohol. You know, I, I really love whenever I, I get a beer that has that, you know, six, seven, eight, nine, even 10% alcohol content. I don't know why it just kind of gives me that little warm, fuzzy feeling inside. It, it just, I think that they're great beers, you know. Of course, it says elevating the craft of beer because, you know, Pikes Peak, you're up there. Uh, Monument, I think, is like 7,000 feet. You know, Colorado Springs is about 6,000 feet up. So let's kind of read a little bit about it right here. So Gold Rush Belgian Ale. In 1859, they were shouting Pikes Peak or bust during one of America's greatest gold rushes. Thousands of prospectors used the mountain as a beacon. Guiding them across the Great Plains to their fortunes, our Gold Rush is a rich Belgian-inspired ale Candy sugar and traditional yeast contribute to a full dry palate of honey, clove, and baking spice. Dig in and enjoy. It's kind of hard to read this on here. It's a, oh, you've hit the mother load. So I got to apologize. It's kind of hard to read this on here. It's a little bit faded out. So, but uh, yeah, you hit the mother load. I mean, it's, you know, gold rush. So I'm excited about this one. You know, I've, I've really started getting into ales and especially with it being an 8.7. This is going to be a good drink. I really feel like it is. So let's check out the last one. Last one's going to be the Oak Tooth. So also a Colorado beer. This one is actually out of Littleton. Uh, so out of Littleton, Colorado, that's right outside of Denver. Look for Beer Works. It's Oak Tooth Wood Aged Pub Ale. It looks like it's got like a, a wooden quarter. You know, it used to be like wooden nickels, but that's uh, George Washington there. Of course, they talked about George Washington used to have gold or not gold teeth, used to have wooden teeth. So on this side right here, it says 6.8% Liberty. And then going on to the other side, it says in yeast we trust. So I usually really like the, the barrel aged. I think this might be what it is. It says wood age, but I'm guessing it might be a barrel age. Let's take a look. So Oak Tooth, a wood aged pub ale. It's an English pale ale, 6.8% ABV. It says Oak Tooth debunks the myth that all barrel aged beers are boozy. Kind of like the booziness of the uh, the barrel age stuff. 
Uh, a deep copper pub ale, lightly aged in bourbon, exhi exhibiting underlying notes of bourbon and oak tannins, balanced by toffee and caramel sweetness. Very interesting. I'm kind of excited to see this. So, I'm not actually kind of excited. I'm really excited. I'm really excited for all of these. These are some cool beers. Uh, so, that's Oak Tooth. So I'm going to show you one more time. we got Oak Tooth right here. we got our Pikes Peak Brewing Company Gold Rush. Even though it just says gold on the can. We have our Path of Victory. So, I think this one might be the gold. I'm really, really kind of leaning towards but this one might be a little bit more uh just because it's got coconut i've never had a beer that had coconut coconut vanilla bean and whiskey so that sounds pretty good uh and then we have our eastern star and that one is going to be an ipa and we also have our right hand man pilsner Super excited to try these out. If you're a craft beer drinker, if you want to learn about craft beer, or if you just like watching how-tos and watching me drink the beer, make sure you take a second to go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below. Hit the like button. Leave a comment on your favorite craft beer. This is my first beer delivery, so I really can't wait to pop these open. Make sure you don't miss out the reviews. Hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you see when they pop up on YouTube. Tune in next week when we crack the first one open. As always, I'm the Brew Captain. Stay savvy, Brew Crew. Drink responsibly. And, uh, oh, hey, don't forget to check out these videos popping up on the screen right here. I'll see you next time.